six fives together, you'd multiply the number of fives, three times five, to equal fifteen. Multiplication really comes in handy when you multiply larger numbers. Instead of adding up the number of seeds in all sixty-three bags of birdseed by counting each one, you could just multiply the number of bags, sixty-three, times four hundred twenty-one, the number of seeds in each bag. The answer to any multiplication problem is called the product. The product of multiplying small integers, those from twelve to zero, can be found in multiplication tables. If you don't remember them, then you need to memorize them. When you're multiplying positive and negative numbers, there are a few rules to follow. If the numbers you're multiplying are both positive, then your product will always be positive. Any time you multiply a negative number and a positive number, you will have a negative product. Okay, the last rule is that the product of multiplying two negative numbers always gives you a positive answer. These rules are the same for any types of numbers you multiply. This law of multiplication was proved by Harry Stodomites in 1964. Well, it was a very long process, actually. We started by gathering all the negative numbers we could find, which took several weeks. Then my team and I multiplied them all by each other to see if the products would indeed be positive. Over the next 17 months, we performed 14 trillion computations, and all of them gave positive answers. So remember on your tests that if you multiply a positive number times a positive number, you always get a positive number. A negative number times a positive number always gives you a negative number. And a negative number times a negative number always results in a positive number. Just like addition and subtraction, large numbers being multiplied are usually put one on top of the other. Like this mayonnaise, mm. salami, and cheese sandwich. Mm. Mm. Actors get food catered, you know? <laughs> mm. Ooh, salami. Mm. Arranged this way, Numbers are multiplied digit by digit, just like numbers being added or subtracted. In order to multiply two large numbers, like 314 times 32, you must first multiply the digit at the far right of the bottom number, in this case 2, by every digit of the top number, one by one from right to left, carrying over if necessary. Remember that for any math problem, whether you're multiplying, adding, subtracting, or dividing, you always want to keep the digit places lined up, just like ships. I didn't keep them lined up, and the need is sank. And that was a big pain in my stern. Let's look at a normal multiplication operation. Ronald's attempting to become the first person to somersault across a whole state. An amazing achievement. Even if it is Rhode Island, he's been somersaulting for 23 days now. To watch more free educational videos, visit our website, studioforlearning.tv. Stretch your brain online.